yeah guys this we are by the grand river this is a beautiful view here as you can see that uh, those, those are the two major buildings here at grand rapids the first one is vanam and the next one is the amway grand which is more of an it company as you have heard my names are anthony i'm from eldoret kenya in an estate called Kapsoya. this is currently my first semester here uh, this is more of, of a learning, learning experience this first semester. I'm partaking data, data science. That's, um, I'm a master student here. I, was, I got an opportunity to come here through the Kenya Airlift program, who facilitated, uh, facilitated all my journey from the start till here. And also, they are able to find for me some Kenyan family here to host me. Uh, there the are various uh, things I've learned here in terms of their culture, in terms of their food. That's the biggest challenge I've come to face and also my accent. Because I have to tell people that, sorry guys, forgive me for the English because it has gone vacation for a little bit. But I'm enjoying my stay here and something, something good is that life in America yeah, is it's something, it's something I want everyone there back at home to experience because it's all about your hard work gives you, takes you, it, this is where you see your hard work working for you because it's more of, if you work hard and work smart, you're going to be successful. And uh, that's one thing I've learned here in America. Also my transition in terms of uh, trying to find, uh, sometimes I feel lonely, but through the Kenyan friends that we are here, that I'm able to share about my experiences, I'm, I'm able to share the, to tell them about how I talked to people here and I was I, I did not get that reception well but they are able to tell me this is how things are here in terms of getting to know how to speak to people and also in terms of me myself getting uh, getting getting well enough getting good here with the with the American people here you are watching Success with Bob Mweti Show, presented to you by Upstack America. Upstack America is a consulting company that helps immigrants find amazing higher education and job opportunities in the tech industry in the United States. You can find our programs by going to www.upstackamerica.com. Upstack America, we wake you up to the unlimited potential. Yeah. So we came, we came to, we came, we came as two students pursuing the science here. I'm currently taking uh, more of statistics, statistical programming. I'm taking uh, information management science, and I'm taking also uh, ethics and professionalism in data science. And what I can say about those courses, they are, they are, they are can I tell, can, I can say they're easy if you read it, because it's not something hard. It just needs hard work, dedication, and knowing what you want to pursue after finishing school. Also, my transition, I, I initially did a Bachelor of Commerce, and transitioning into the real science field has been something amazing. We, we've, had, we've always had those tough days first, but through my hard work, through sheer dedication, through constant uh, Asking for asking the professors for my for their help, they are able to guide me. They are able to show me how to, to do things because here here it's all about asking asking the professor that here you're stuck, if he can help you, and that's something I find amazing about here America because you are able to find the lecturer even around midnight. You are able to email him and tell him this code isn't working, and he's able to share to you how to go to go with it. Yeah, so Kenya Elif program were able, the Kenya Elif program were able to give us a certain Udemy course which we were able to pursue, which we were get to, which we were able to get, started, which we were able to get get started with. And also, I was working as a data analyst at Cloud Factory Kenya, whereby we were working with various companies in terms of sorting for them their certain softwares and installing for them certain softwares there back at home, but. There are some coding languages that I never knew about, which through the help of through the help of me learning through the YouTube videos and also the Udemy course offered by the Kenya Elif program, I was able to get my hand my hands on it. That is the Python language, Java, and also the SAS, which we are which we are currently doing this semester. One of the things I can say about uh, the data before 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 deciding to come to the data science field is 
have, have, have a go on the materials offered, the programming materials offered online. Because through constant doing it by yourself, it's easy. It's not hard. It just needs dedication, your passion in it, and also where you want to see yourself after pursuing, uh, after entering this IT field. First, first, of, first of all, they should have that desire to learn. They should come with an open mind that there will be first days where the first days will be tough. But through constant practice, you're able to get on it. You're able to start with the, program, uh, the Python language. I can tell them Python is a more of a diversive language in programming. So if you are able to learn about Python and also Java, you're good to go. Because of what I've realized the American market, it's more of uh, learning more of a specific language and be good in it. So that when you are able to apply for the jobs there outside, you are able to find it easily because jobs, IT jobs here are very lucrative. And that's something I can tell business commerce people that migrate to the IT sector because this is the courses for the future. And the faster you come, the better because you are able to settle in early. You are able to have a lot of experience as years get on by. You have been watching Success with Bomwiti Show, brought to you by Upstack America. Come back again next time to learn concepts, tools, strategies, and resources on the path of becoming a successful immigrant in USA through real-life experiences. Be sure to subscribe to Bob Mwiti channel on YouTube and also follow him on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn.